And it is great to be back after a two week break. And I just want to start out by saying one simple thing USA number one. USA! 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 Yes! Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that is my favorite flavor of mob, mindless. And why are we chanting? Because America just dominated the 2016 Olympics. Yeah. 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 That's right. We killed it. We killed it. Olympics, of course, are a time when the whole world comes together and competes in the spirit of brotherhood and goodwill. So let me be the first to say, suck it, world. <laughs> suck it. Suck it in record time. We got 121 medals. I'm not surprised. I mean, I watched the games here in the United States. I can't remember which channel. And <laughs> from what I saw, apparently only Americans competed. Uh, <laughs> Americans and Usain Bolt, of course. <laughs> He's an honorary American yeah, at this point, right. I think. Point. Because really, let's face it, Jamaica is basically tropical Colorado. <laughs> that's right. And not only did America lead in the overall medal count, we also won the most gold medals, the most silver medals, and the most bronze medals. Which means we're not only number one, we're also number one at being two and three. Okay? That's six. That's one, two, that's six. We're number six. I think. I think that's math. And the majority of those American medals were won by female athletes. So. I'll give you that. So I just want to say to all the boys out there, the next time somebody on the playground says you throw like a girl, you say, thank you. <laughs> now over, <laughs> over two dozen of those medals were won by African American women. Right. And on Twitter, I'll do that too. I'll do that too. And on Twitter, people celebrated that fact with the hashtag Black Girl Magic. Which, I guess, was easier than typing hashtag black girl hard work and dedication. I don't know. <laughs> but the big story was Ryan Lochte, hashtag frat boy tragic. And, <laughs> yeah, he, he's fun. And it was his made up story about how he and three other swimmers uh, were robbed at gunpoint in Brazil. And it turns out they weren't robbed. They just had a confrontation with security guards after they drunkenly stopped at a gas station, broke some stuff, apparently, and then urinated on the building. And I just want to say, guys, you stopped at a gas station for a pee break? Come on. You're Olympic swimmers. You spend 90% of your life in a public pool. Ask what the chlorine's for. Come on. We're all adults. But now here's what's very important. Lockley said he didn't lie about what happened. He has a simple and repeatable explanation. I over-exaggerated the story. I over-exaggerated. I over-exaggerated some parts. My mistake was over-exaggerating what really happened. You and don't not think you telling... were lying? I wasn't lying to a certain extent. Um, I over-exaggerated what was happened. He, he over-exaggerated. Okay, here's an example. If he said he understood what the word lie means, that would be a bit of an over-exaggeration. <laughs> And now, the whole... <laughs> think we're applauding lying? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and now the whole world thinks of Ryan Lochte as that crazy American with the weird hair who keeps making stuff up and causing an international incident, which is not how an Olympian acts. That is how a presidential candidate acts. <laughs> Get it straight. Put it... What's going on. I got like half a Superman going on tonight. I don't know what's going on there. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. And today, this is sad, Ryan Lochte lost all four of his sponsors, including Speedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to hurt because they've been his biggest supporter. <laughs> Perhaps not his biggest, but a crucial, a crucial supporter. <laughs> Speaking of, shall we say, the bathing suit area, um, take a second here to check out Japanese pole vaulter Hiroki Ogita's failed attempt at qualifying. He goes up, he hits the bar with his leg, still looks like it's going to be fine, and coming down, 
Boom! He knocks the bar off with a clunk of his junk. Oh, my God. There it is. There it is. That poor man. Can you imagine? Just think, for the rest of his life, mm. he'll have mm. to tell everyone, yeah, I went to the Olympics, but I didn't win gold because my <laughs> is too big. <laughs> right? I, there's nothing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You win some, you win, you win. Now, another Olympic oops a daisy you might have seen was Bulgarian rhythmic gymnast Nevyana Vladinova, <laughs> who danced her hoop routine to the theme from Schindler's List. <laughs> Come on! Come on, rhythmic gymnast, don't drag Schindler's List into this. <laughs> Grown adults playing with ribbons and hoops is sad enough. Literally any other song would have been a better choice. She could have used Titanic, not the music, just the sound of the ship going down. You want to hear some happy music? Say hi to John Baptiste and stay <laughs>